that my 595 and I'm going to tell you how it was nearly not my 595. Check this out. I had to strip the entire interior of the car all because a washer hose split and sprayed water over the back of the body control module. A split hose on a Fiat 500 or a Bath isn't an uncommon issue. However, for me, it was underneath the dashboard and it was difficult to trace where it was leaking from and why it was affecting the electrics in this way. I was driving down the M25 and the hazard light stuck on. The driver's window and passenger window were going up and down on their own with the keys out of the ignition. I had headlights staying on, I had doors and boot thinking they're open at all times and the window wipers went continuously the central locking decided to stop working and i was out of my depth i didn't know what to do to fix this problem and i thought i'd have to take a massive loss and just sell it to somebody who did so if you're watching this video it's likely that you have electrical problems of your own and a wet passenger footwell uh, there are other causes for wet passenger footwell, such as a leaky scuttle panel where the drains clog up with leaves, the heater matrix can leak. Uh, if you have a sunroof model, that is also a known area as well. Uh, however, let me tell you about my experience and I'll show you how I fixed the problem. When I went to view the car, not one of these problems presented itself. My conclusion is that because the previous owner had stored the car at the end of their ownership, the lack of daily use allowed the moisture to turn into damp and compromise the integrity of the electrics. Let's start with replacing the hose. I tried many different fixes to try and patch up the hose where it had split and each of my attempts failed. This is because the Fiat 500 and the Bath uses a corrugated hose as the rear washer pipe and you need a specific adapter to make that connection watertight. I couldn't find one but I have heard rumours that you can get them and if you can then it's much easier than replacing the whole hose. Firstly, remove the window wipers, scuttle panel cover to reveal where the hose is thread through the firewall from the scuttle panel. Disconnect the corrugated hose from the junction where the pipe continues onto the washer bottle. Connect up your new hose and use tie wraps to secure and thread that pipe through that relief in the bulkhead where the corrugated hose currently is. Do this from the outside using a coat hanger threaded through from where that light is coming from. Take the new pipe to the coat hanger and thread it through carefully. It's a tight space and this is by far the worst part of the job. Route your new pipe along the loom alongside the corrugated pipe which are left in place because it's too much hassle to take out. Lastly, our final obstacle as we follow the loom up through the body of the car into the boot lid. For this section, I did remove the corrugated hose to allow enough space for me to pull the new hose through that gator. Then, using the coat hanger method one more time, we pull it through the boot lid and connect it to the washer jet using zip ties to secure. Now the leak's fixed, I took the opportunity to wet vac the entire interior of the car to get rid of that damp smell once and for all. Now we can turn our attention to those electrical issues. If your symptoms are similar to what I described at the start of this video, it's likely to be controlled by that body control module. This is held in place by three shear bolts. You will need to use a Dremel or a grinder to cut a groove into those bolts so that you can unwind. Of course, remember to disconnect your battery before doing this. This unit is connected to all the airbags and anything sensitive. My unit failed because of this corrosion issue where water had been ingressing over the course of a few years. However, inside this unit, there is many resistors and relays that are known to fail, so it might not necessarily be caused by water damage. The good news is that this part is replaceable. The dealer will tell you that they need to program it specifically to your car, which is true. However, there are third party services who can do that for you for a much cheaper price. With the new BCM unit installed and the leaky washer hose fixed, I've been able to enjoy the car and I've enjoyed making this video too. So as I add more to the car, I will upload more videos of my progress.